Moving on from there, we have our tools. These are really important and really, really useful, and you really have to have a grasp on them if you want to understand Pro Tools. So let's go through them one by one. Uh, the first tool here is called the Zoom tool. If I click on this, my cursor in the session becomes a little magnifying glass. And if I, if I just click, it's going to zoom in. And also, another cool feature of this, if I click and drag, it's going to make whatever I've clicked and dragged, it's going to make that the entire length of the window that I'm in. So, you know, let's say I, I want to edit this little, you know, these, these three little hits right here. If I, if I, you know, zoom and click and drag over this, now I have those three things in, you know, in the entire width of my window, which is really useful for editing. And of course, if I want to get back to where I was, I click on my little one here and my zoom preset, number one, and I'm back. Uh, and that's really great. Below the zoom tool is a little zoom toggle. And this is, uh, this is useful if you want to get a look at a track um, just briefly and then, and then you know, make it zoom back to where it was. If I click on this, as you can see, I have my drum my my drum loop track selected here it's white and if i click on the zoom toggle it's going to make that track and only that track uh uh fill more of the screen it's going to make it bigger and if i click on it again it's going to go back to where it was so that's a nice little zoom toggle and by the way the hotkey for that is e which i don't know how that makes sense but that's what it is it's e so if i hit uh, if i hit e it's going to it's going to do what it what it what it just did, which is make the uh, the drum loop really big, and you'll be able to edit it. Whatever, hit E, and you're back to where you started. So that's the zoom tool. Um, moving on from there, we have our main three tools here. Okay, now these three tools: the uh, the trim tool, the selector tool, and the grabber tool are are going to be your sort of uh, your, your main three tools that you, that you use. Trim, Selector, and Grabber. Let's, uh, let's look at the Trim first. If I click on the Trim, my, uh, my cursor becomes this little, uh, this little C or backwards C, depending on where I am. I'm going to go to the end of my acoustic track here, and you'll see what this does. It trims, if I, if I click, I'm going to trim this region. Of course, again, I haven't deleted anything. I'm just, I, I've just trimmed it down. And, uh, and this is really useful. Uh, right now, I, I'm still in grid mode, and this is really useful for, I'm going to undo that. Let's say I want to make a, uh, I want to make a loop uh, out, of my, out of my acoustic track, and I, wanna, yeah, and I want to uh, uh, duplicate it, you know, and, and loop it across the, across the session. If I, got, if I have my trim tool selected, I can, I, I can see by the bars of the session that I want, I'm going to trim it to right here. And I'm also going to trim this beginning until where it starts. So now I have a nice uh, eight bar, uh, you know, it's a, it's a perfect eight bar region of, uh, of, uh, of that acoustic track. And now with that, you know, I can, I can, I can drag that and repeat that and everything. But now that's, that's perfectly eight bars and I've got rid of all the, uh, the extra stuff. So that's the, that's the trim tool. Moving on to the selector tool. The selector is probably the most used tool in all of Pro Tools. It can do a lot of stuff. Um, if, you, if you select the selector tool, your cursor will turn into a little eye. And if I click here in the session, you'll see it just basically just puts my cursor right there. So if you want to start playback from you know the beginning of your acoustic track or whatever you just click there and you hit you know you hit your space bar and and it'll start playing so this is really useful for just basic getting around in your session um, in addition to obviously just just clicking uh, clicking around you can also 
select with the selector tool. If you click and drag, if I, let's say if I want to select the first half of this acoustic track, if I, if I click right here and I drag, you'll see that it selects it. So now that's selected and I can do whatever I want with that. I can loop that, I can do whatever. I can, and also, um, by the way, when, when you select, the beginning of your selection becomes your in, uh, like your punch in point, and the end of your selection becomes your out point. So there's no extra, you don't have to uh, uh, program that in or anything. If you want to record, let's say, you know, just, just this first, like let's say I wasn't happy with the first half of this acoustic track, and I just want to record that, um, you know, I've, I've selected that, and those are my in and out points, and that's really useful for, uh, for um, punching in and all, all sorts of things. Um, so that's the selector tool. Moving on from there, we have the, the grabber tool, which looks like a little hand, which essentially does probably what you would think it would do. It grabs stuff. It grabs, if you click on a, if you click on a region, it's going to select that entire region, as you can see. And of course, with this grabber, I can grab this and move it. Let's say I want to move that, that acoustic track to the very beginning so that it starts with my drum loop. I've just done that. And that's really useful.